Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to your lesson number three. I hope you all are well. Let me introduce myself. I am Sharmin Rahman, your English language teacher, standard six, campus one. So we are going to start the lesson for today. As in the previous lesson, we have started chapter five, which is preposition and preposition phrases. We started with the preposition definition and its type. But today we are going to finish the lesson because we have leftover which is preposition phrases. So let's see what is it. What is a prepositional phrase? A prepositional phrase is a group of words consisting of a preposition, its object and any words that modify the object. Most of the time a prepositional phrase modifies a verb or a noun in a sentence. So as we are going to see that the prepositional phrase is going to modify a verb or a noun so we're going to see uh, have to see two types of prepositional phrases these two kinds of prepositional phrases can be called number one adverbial phrases and the second one is adjectival phrases respectively so to define these two kinds of prepositional phrases we are going to move on to the next slide but before that I want you to know something more for prepositional phrase at a minimum, a prepositional phrase consists of one preposition as you can see and the object it governs. The object can be a noun, a gerund, a gerund which is a verb from ending in ing and that acts as a noun or clause. Example, he arrives in time. Next one, is she really going out with that guy? This two basic elements modifiers can be fully added let's add some modifiers here example he arrives in the nick of time and next one is she really going out with that tall gorgeous guy okay so now we are going to move on to another part which is some of the most common prepositions that begin prepositional phrases that are to of about at, before, after, by, behind, during, for, from, in, over, under, and with. So to identify a prepositional phrase in a sentence, it will be easier for you if you can identify a preposition in a sentence. And this common preposition you can easily find, which begin prepositional phrases. Now we are going to see those two types of prepositions. First of all, prepositional phrases that modify a noun. When a prepositional phrase acts upon a noun, we say it is behaving adjectively. Because adjectives modify a noun, we already know that. A prepositional phrase that behaves adjectively is called quite logically an adjective phrase, which we also can can say in a shorter way ADJ. So in your textbook, in your grammar textbook, you're going to have this shorter name ADJ. Okay. To identify adjectival phrase, you need to know that the modify, uh, it is going to modify a noun or not. Let's see an example for it. The cat in the middle is the cutest. Here you can see the red line words in the middle is defining the cat and the cat is a noun so the cat in the middle is the cutest let's see another example here I always buy milk from the convenience store on Main Street on Main Street is also defining the store the store is a noun and it is defining on Main Street so this two sentences clear that this Two prepositional phrases is modifying a noun that means it is called adjectival phrase another one my mother has always wanted to live in a cabin by the lake here noun is cabin and where is the cabin by the lake so by the lake this phrase is modifying cabin so noun is modifying so it is called adjectival prepositional phrase 
Now we are going to see prepositional phrases that modify verbs. When a prepositional phrase acts upon a verb, we say it is behaving adverbially because adverbs modify verbs. A prepositional phrase that behaves adverbially is called an adverbial phrase, which is also can we can call in a shorter way ADV. In your textbook, you, you can also can see, you also have to see that we are calling adverbial phrase in a shorter way ADV. Let's see an example for it. And before that, to find a person, yes, now we are going to see an example here. To find the person who stole the last cookie, look behind you. To find the person who stole the last cookie, here we are going to say that who looked the cookie, who stole the cookie, look behind you. Harry drank his butter beer with fervor. Here, Harry drank what? His butter beer with fervor. So here, he drank is a verb and it is modifying drank. How he drank? With fervor. So there is another point which is prepositional phrases acting as noun. It can also act as noun. Less frequently, prepositional phrases can function like nouns in a sentence. Let's see some examples for it. During the national anthem is the worst time to blow your nose. So here you can see, during the national anthem, this whole thing is a phrase, prepositional phrase. During is our preposition and during the national anthem is prepositional phrase, which is acting like a noun in this sentence. During the national anthem is the worst time to blow your nose. Another example, after the game will be too late for us to go to the dinner. After the game is completely acting like a noun. So after the game will be too late for us to go to dinner. So this is the end of the lesson for today. Thank you for watching and listening to the lesson. Here is the quote for today. There are no shortcuts to any place worth going. Thank you everyone. Take care of yourself.